Okay, bro. First and foremost, if you could introduce yourself and give yourself a little bit of context with regards to what business you operate, that'd be perfect. Definitely. My name's Jordan Nairs. I have a paid media agency called Triangulate Digital. We work with B2B SaaS companies. And then I'm also in the process right now of launching more of an info product for early stage entrepreneurs. Okay, mate, awesome. And talk, talk me through your career path thus far. Definitely. So uh, I'm actually 32. I look a lot younger than I actually am. Um, Fresh face. <laughs> I started off working in sales and then I went into marketing. So from about 25 to 30, I worked at marketing agencies and then I started my business March 2022. I think that's right. Yep. 2022. Uh, and that is the business I have now, which is a paid ads kind of consultancy. And what inspired you to start the coaching business or, or in the process of doing so? The coaching or the consultancy? The The coaching. So I think for me, it's kind of a few things. One, I'd reached a point with my consultancy agency where although I could scale it to 50, 100K a month, it's currently at 25K a month. I wasn't really enjoying it. And I'd done marketing now for five to six years. And the areas that I find most interesting are like transformation, change, like really working with people, helping them change how they think, feel and act. So based with that understanding, I started coaching early stage entrepreneurs and really enjoyed it. And naturally, as a result, I think for me, the program, the info product space, it's just a lot more exciting. So I'm still going to run my consultancy, but that for me is the, the big bet for the next decade or more than decade, which is working with entrepreneurs, helping them change how they think, feel and act. And what's the outcome you're facilitating in the coaching business? Definitely. So right now I'm currently, what, a month into to kind of like research, niche research. But what I'm going to define probably at the end of this month is the actual program and what the desired outcome. But like any entrepreneur, they're attached to the numbers in their business, whether that's 10K a month, 50K a month, 100K a month. But really what I found is it's not just the feeling of the numbers, but like how you actually feel and show up in your business. So mm. that's the part which will be the hardest to sell and the hardest to market because it's hard to get an entrepreneur to accept from an ego standpoint that they do need to change how they think, feel and act. But it will primarily be around business numbers, but also just generally how they feel and, and how they show up both work and also in their personal lives. Because I know you and I have spoke about it before, but <clears throat> entrepreneurship, if you're not careful, can like lead to a lot of emotional issues. Yeah. And that's the part which I experienced myself. Uh, and I've spent a lot of, of money, time figuring out and fixing for myself. And that's the part that I, I really care about. Okay, man. Awesome. And what led you wanting to prioritize your health and performance by coming on board in the program? Definitely. So I've been someone that's cared about my health, like from a young age. But what I found was, especially when I had a job, but once I became an entrepreneur, was I was using like the mainstream advice, like, for example, bodybuilding, you know, like looking good. So for a good year and a half, I got into really good shape, but just because I look good, I didn't necessarily feel good. And that feeling didn't translate into a better output. So you and I have known each other for a few years and I always wanted to work with you. So when it came along that you'd launched your, your new program, I was like, Billy's definitely the guy for me to, to work with. And you know, you've worked with so many different entrepreneurs and for a long enough time frame, and you have all that data that when you give me some advice or some insight, I know it's coming from your experience. Whereas a lot of the advice and health coaches don't work for entrepreneurs and they don't work with high level entrepreneurs so they may say for example like i want you to go into the gym six seven days a week and like kill yourself and destroy your body but like we both know like heavy workouts often impact productivity second they may recommend like a if it fits your macros diet with no real understanding of food quality like there's no blood test there's no gut health test there's nothing other than just eat this and you'll be fine but i found a lot of the um health coaches don't have businesses or really like need to have uh, a lot of systems and processes so you can get away with bad diet you can get away with bad sleep but i think once you're at the kind of level that you're at and i'm moving towards like if your health is not in order then that will affect your business yeah so tell me through what you believe to be the detrimental uh, components of not prioritizing your health and performance at your age at your stage of your business growth also what's the negative implication of not prioritizing those variables Definitely. I think the first thing is the consistency. So for example, for me, like I'll normally do periods of monk mode or periods of intense work. Um, whenever I neglected my health, that would normally manifest in just burnout. Um, mm. Just like missed days of work, um, feeling stressed, feeling anxious. Without a consistent sleep routine, I think the other thing is like cognition, ability to actually create work that impacts businesses or in my case now impacts people 
So if I had a bad night's sleep and if I was eating the foods which kind of weren't aligned with my gut and digestion, then it just made work that much harder. Yeah, for sure. And which of the six components that we prioritize specifically would you deem to be the most important when it comes to facilitating optimal output and performance on a daily basis in a business capacity? I think the first one is sleep optimization. Without that as the, the foundation, then even the nutrition, even the supplementation, even the um, training is like fairly impacted. After mm. that, from my experience, it would be the peak nutrition. But then I do think the supplementation and the medical testing is a part which I'd one, never really come across. And two, without working with you, I don't think I would have prioritized it soon enough. Like I'd had one blood test, I'm 32. I'd taken supplements since the age of like 18, but I'd never really looked at my blood results or my gut health or, or anything and personalize them based on those results. I just took what was recommended. Okay, man. And why was that? Is that because it's not content which is produced publicly massively yet? Or is it something which you simply had neglected, but you're aware of, of course, the importance of? Yeah, I think it's, I just actively neglected the importance of so because i was so focused on the way i looked as in like physique goals yeah. um i was willing to do stuff which made me look good but i wasn't as focused on how i felt i think again like some context like when i started my business or even before i was earning around anywhere from 100 to up to 150k a year like that's not a lot of money and especially within entrepreneurship like 10k 15k a month you can get away with with not necessarily being optimal mm. but for me now to build towards the hundred and, and more K per month, I think neglecting the nutrition and neglecting my actual biomarkers would hold me back. For sure. And which variable of your health and performance thus far have you found most difficult to manage or improve and refine? I think the flawless training, but that's just because I've had that neck injury. Um, and yeah. we've kind of changed. We've added in, you know, cardiovascular work, for example, which is something which I hadn't ever really done outside of sports. Um, so I would say that supplementation is really easy. Um, nutrition, I find really easy, especially now because like working with you, we're kind of aligned on what I'm looking to do. So like, I don't have to question whether eating processed food is going to impact my work. Like I know it will. So it, I don't really struggle with nutrition like I used to. Hmm. And with the introduction of cardiovascular work as well, what benefit have you experienced the byproduct of that? Massive. I mean, we're still early into it, but I think just the actual mental benefits of the running. So you know, two runs a week at 8K um, kilometers, 150 BPM, and then the in, uh, sprints on Thursdays, that I definitely feel better and have more energy. For sure. And why have you chosen to prioritize health at such a young age relatively to most other people? Because obviously the typical age range I work was anywhere from 17 up to 60. Tell me through why you've chosen to prioritize health at a, a younger age. So... I think a few things. One is because I see entrepreneurship as a marathon and like I, I don't ever plan on retiring. So right now, like you know, 20s and 30s are where you have the most energy and vitality. But if you don't put in the habits and the systems and processes, then those will be your peak years. Whereas I intend to continue to perform like well into my 50s, 60s, 70s. Obviously, over time, my wealth will compound and I require to do less actual work, but I'll still want to work. So I really see this as just an investment, just as you're going to invest in um, real estate or crypto or whatever from your earnings from your business. It's the same way with health. If I don't invest in my health now, then I will pay the price in a few years. And I, I, I feel that already because I'm, I'm 32, so I'm a lot older than a lot of the guys in this space. And I neglected my health in my 20s. I went out, party, took drugs, uh, and that definitely impacted my ability to sleep. It impacted my mental health, um, it impacted my relationships. So I really see health as just the, the foundation. It's the most important area of my life, mental and physical and spiritual. So mm -hmm. for every, let's say, pound or dollar that I spend, the ROI is, is huge. For sure. And also on a final question and a more, I suppose, fundamental level as well, obviously, I know you're in a personal perspective. How have you found being in a relationship and also prioritizing your health and performance in terms of the alignment of that? Or rather, have there been any difficulties you face? Because a lot of the male clients I work with have difficulty getting their partner on board with all components of health as well. Their partner's resistant to it or is detrimental to the outcome they're trying to facilitate. So how, how have you found that process personally? Yeah, really easy. But that's because like I, I chose my partner based on aligned values and health was really important to me. And she was healthy before I met her and she's only continued to be healthy. So 
I'm very fortunate in, in that aspect. I think who you choose as your partner is one of the most important decisions uh, you can make in your life. And I spent a long time thinking it over and then a long time also working on myself to attract that woman into my life. And then second to that is because she supports me uh, and kind of like knows the vision that we have for our future. Any of the weird, odd stuff that I do daily doesn't bother her. Like, say, so for example, if you work with Billy, you'll, you'll do a gut health test. And in case you don't know what that means, it involves shitting on a pad and putting it in your fridge. And my girlfriend, <laughs> my, my girlfriend was definitely not happy about that. But like, she accepts that there's parts of me which are odd and weird. But she also realizes that like the odd and weird parts of me is also what dictates the reality we currently have. Because it's incredibly odd and weird to start a business and to invest in your health and do all these sort of things. But these are the things which are required to push you to the next level. For sure. That's a great answer, man. Love that. Crushed it.